Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, hello if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever story time. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to talk about this subject because it is a massive thing but because of how many questions I get asked about this, I get asked quite a lot so I thought that I would just address it and give my thoughts on the X Factor. I've been singing for years and years. I've been singing on YouTube. I did a couple videos like five years ago and only just got back into it this year really and been consistent. But I notice on a lot of my posts, people ask me or suggest really that I go on The X Factor. I was asked this so often that I made a point of going for it just to see what the process was like and in the end it was exactly what I thought it was. It's not that it's a fix as much but it's more that they only choose very few people who can really sing and the rest are funny acts who are basically people who mostly can't sing but the producers put them through anyway to make them think that they're through because they can sing and then they go on live TV and everyone laughs at them and I, that makes me feel so sad it really makes me feel sad when these people are given this opportunity thinking wow I must really be able to sing and they're basically just on it to be the laughing stock of Britain so I've never really agreed with that whole aspect I get that it's TV I get that it's it's funny to watch it's entertaining but at the same time I can't help but feel so bad for them. It's okay if they kind of know that they aren't the best singer and that they're just doing it for a laugh but some people truly believe that they are like the next Beyonce and they're just not yet. <laughs> so a 16 year old me decided stuff it let's just go for it let's see the process let's see like what it's all about what you have to do. So I applied and I went for my audition in Manchester. I think it was in Old Trafford, I'm not too sure. It was somewhere in Manchester, like a stadium. I'd say the queue, if you were at the very back, it would take you probably about six or seven hours to get to the little tent. And basically it's just set up like one huge queue outside and then there's like a stage and Dermot goes round and he picks some people to be put on the stage so they can like have a little sing song and a dance in front of everyone and some of like the producers and things like choose people too but Dermot does come round as well to meet you which is nice and that process is long like really long we went there quite early I think we went about two hours before they actually formed a queue if that makes sense it was like a queue outside of the queue <laughs> but we still, I think we waited about three or four hours. So if you are going to an audition, my best advice to you is take heels in a bag with you. Do not wear them, bring other shoes. Because I made that mistake and so did my mum. And you know, you want to look professional, you want to look nice. And I went in like this little dress, a denim jacket and heels. And I ended up not even probably 20 minutes into the queue. I took them off and I went barefoot and I don't care because it was painful. So if you want to go in heels and dressed up then please take them in a handbag with you unless you want to stand in them for seven hours. Because I even had blisters but I only wore them for the first 20 minutes and then on and off until I got there like four, four hours later. So you'll definitely get blisters. So yeah I recommend you take that. Another thing is Come prepared. Come like a, like you would to a festival. Bring food, drinks, all that jazz. Maybe a seat. Do you know them little portable seats you can get? We didn't do any of that. Didn't have a drink, didn't have food. So my mum like ran out of the queue and went to the, a vending machine. But it's a pain to get back to where you are in the queue because people always think, oh you're pushing in and she was just like, no I'm a mum. So people get really, I don't know if defensive is the word, they just kind of I am here in this queue, I am going to be here in this queue, no one is going to be in front of me. So they're a bit, I don't know the word, stressed maybe, they're a bit stressed. So as you can imagine this queue is crazy. It has like quiet people, fun people, dancing people, screaming people, it's 
very diverse. <laughs> and because he was pulling people up on the stage, that was like entertainment for the day as well, so it kind of got you going. And in front of me in the queue, there was an Asian lady and her mum, and oh, they, they were literally hilarious. They were dancing and singing, and they were doing some kind of gymnastics and the splits and just going crazy, and it was literally, if you have someone like that in front of you in the queue, you're set. You don't even care if you're in pain or if you're tired or if you're thirsty, because they are entertaining you. <laughs> So we had that lovely lady in front of us who was keeping us entertained all day and as we neared the end you go down the stadium steps so there's a queue down the stadium steps so there's a queue and then there's like I think 15 booths really close together it's literally just like three pieces of paper like a booth and then there's a crew so they're not like singing coaches or producers or musicians or anything. They are literally just X Factor staff, most of them. Maybe like, maybe further on into the competition then there would be more qualified people. But in this one, it was literally just staff. So we got down and the lady that was in front of us went down and because we were on the steps so you could see everyone in their booths and you could pretty much hear everyone and people were getting distracted because you were literally here and then there was another booth here so you were getting kind of confused but the Asian lady in front of us went down into the queue into her little tent and I'm sure she did like a Whitney song I'm sure it was something like I will always love you or something big like that oh she, she was so funny she was like dancing and then getting in the groove and like trying to like hold hands with him and dance with him and afterwards he said sorry it's a no and then to a very unsurprised me they proved to me exactly why this show isn't real after getting her no she proceeded to get on her knees and beg and beg to go through again he said no sorry and she was like begging please please let me in and he literally saw the funny side and the entertaining side in the fact that she was begging him and he said yes you're through so that proved to me exactly what i knew all along i wasn't surprised by it at all i completely expected it that's why every time people said to me go on x factor or you can sing go on x factor i was always like no it's it's a fix and that proved it to me so yeah, I wasn't bothered anyway, but now I was even less bothered now that it was proven to me. So I went down, I sang Duffy Warwick Avenue, and he said, you have a lovely voice, but your look is just not what we're looking for this year. Fair enough. So I walked away, head held high. It literally just proved to me everything that I already knew. So basically, I don't really agree with X Factor. I used to watch it a lot just because it's entertaining, um, the last year I watched it was when Louisa won it, so I'm not I'm, I'm not sure if that was... I think it was about two years ago. I haven't watched it since just because I just know how it goes and I know that it's not a fair game. It's supposed to be a singing competition, not a funny competition. And again, I get it's TV, it's entertainment. I just wanted to know that for myself and to be able to tell this story. So when people said to me, you're good, you should go on X Factor, that I could tell them the story because to be honest I would rather release music and if I ever was discovered I would rather it be through like YouTube or being seen at a gig or a demo CD or picked up by a label or anything like that I'm just not into these talent shows unfortunately so I tune into the TV to watch X Factor about four months later and who do I see is the lady that was in front of me. She had gone all the way through, she even got to the live shows, and the lady that was just a legend dancing in front of me was Goldie. Lewis's act. So she actually went pretty much the whole way through. <laughs> Good for her, like really good for her. Um, it can be for some people, it's not for me. I just really wanted to share my story because 
now you guys know I have tried for X Factor. But anyway, thank you so much for all your lovely comments um, about my voice and hopefully I can do it by myself one day and I won't need X Factor. Thank you guys for supporting me as always. I'm sorry I haven't been active for the last week. I've been really ill and I just love you a lot. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye.